It's your main man, Jack Mehoff, here live with Billy Babcock. <laughs> nice to see you, Jack. It's great to be here, Billy. Well, this is a great time of the year. We got the 37-year-old Eric battling off against the 31-year-old Zach. It's going to be a good battle. Woo! Oh, yeah! The 37-year-old Eric and the 31-year-old Zach are going to be battling it out to who's got the best deals out there. They spent $100, <laughs> scoured eBay, and now they're out here live facing off tonight. Couldn't have said it better myself, Billy. And it's up to you the audience to tell us who you think has the best cards drop it in the comments below who is the winner the crusty old eric or the young and spry zach <laughs> i'm zach i'm eric and we are box alarm trading welcome to the ebay challenge yeah the face off the face off is here that much hyped intro i hope you're ready buckle up <laughs> okay so first up for me I'm gonna go first and then Eric's gonna go. I ended up getting uh, four cards total, um, varying in, in prices, we'll, sh we'll tell you the prices. Uh, first up, the biggest one of my budget, this was 50 Bones. This is a 2022 uh, rookie gold disco premier level, Ricky Simone. And this is one of 10. Got the, woo, one of 10. Start. <laughs> Starting it off for us. And um, I got this one on Instagram. <laughs> Um, I'll tag the guy who I bought it from. I forget it. I forget his name at the moment. Um, but this was my most of my budget from the beginning. There were a couple different ways we were playing it. Yeah. Um, I kind of wanted to get at least one like pretty decent rookie, and I happened to be able. This was the best I could find. I couldn't really find any vets. Gold's good. Gold's good, man. And it's I mean, a one. It's one of ten. Um, so this was the first card. This was fifty dollars of my budget. Got it off Instagram, so I don't have receipts for it. Are the judges going to count it? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, so next next up, I have a Dustin Poirier, and this is a 2011 uh, Topps Finest. Um, I talked about this video on uh, a recent mail day that I did, so y'all can check that one out too. Um, I wanted to get something older, you know, some an older established, like, you know, vet type guy. And this is one that I found for a good deal. It actually ended up being 20 bucks altogether with shipping. So a pretty good deal if you ask me. Um, all my all my prices are including shipping. Eric's may not be including shipping. I don't know. Judges, is that okay? <laughs> we like, need another judge. Judge, is that okay? <laughs> but um, so that that's is my that numbered. It, it, oh yeah, it's a it really is numbered. Weird number. It's refractor <laughs> number to 888. I've never seen that. So I think what they did with these is like you know how they have the silvers. Yeah. I think they, they actually they, yeah they have a limited crap. run, which would would have been cool if uh, Panini did that. Yeah, you get silver prisms. Yeah, you, unknown. You know they they know how many like this printed. one. Yeah, like like this one right here. <laughs> Good segue in. We have a 2021 Israel Adesanya fireworks silver, and um, this is a really cool card as far as just the actual layout in the photo goes. Panini did a great job with this one, I think, because you got him doing his like get over here anime style. Then you got the sweet um, kind of space galaxy. What would you even call that, you know? Yeah, that's a interdimensional. Interdimensional <laughs> portal that he's opening with his pose. And I really like how the silver looks. There's a couple of different parallels of this, like the, the, the green pulsar that I was thinking about getting, but would have spent way more on it than I did on this. This was only nine bucks, but I thought the silver looked one of the best parallels and it was, you know, kind of cheap. So um, at number three, we got the Izzy. And to round it off, this is my last card. This was four, and this is a Shavkat Rachmanov rated rookie from the 2022 Optic, and it's a silver. And I, I wanted to try and get at least one Shavkat because we didn't pull anything. Sadly. Sadly, didn't pull anything except a base from our boxes. So I ended up getting this, and this one was <laughs> 19 bucks good. with shipping. Good deal. It was a pretty good deal. Yeah. I mean, considering that a blaster cost uh, more than this, <laughs> twenty-five bucks, <laughs> and we got literally no color out of the blaster. Um, so I thought it was a pretty cool card and uh, a decent buy. And I think I ended up uh, totaling what was it, ninety-eight dollars. So I got two bucks left over. I can get a base mm -hmm. card. But um, that is my submission that you guys, the fans, will vote on. Ninety-eight dollars, four cards. Was it good? 
Coming at you oh, live. Oh, we teleported. <laughs> I'm on this side, he's on this side. <laughs> Is that Billy and <laughs> Wait a minute. Listen up. Listen up. It's, it's my turn over here, and you're going to vote for me. <laughs> Whoa, you can't, <laughs> wait, you can't wait, do man. that. All right. So I only went with three cards, and I might have pushed the budge a little. <laughs> he confessed. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. Uh... My three cards, we're gonna go with them. Let's let's roll. First card I got is a Grant Dawson rated rookie orange nice, of man. 49. He's in the lightweight division. He is 19 and one right now, prospect. Hasn't fought anyone really huge, but he is a good up and comer guy. That one went for $15. So. 15 bones. And that one actually Rookie. was with shipping. So, you know, back off. <laughs> back off, bro. <laughs> rookie, though, yeah, I went all rookie heavy on this one. I didn't go old school, but. Hey, man. Next guy up is Jalen Turner. Pink Prism. First auto of the First show. First auto, yep. Yeah. He, uh, he's another good prospect. I think he's, what, floating around 10 right now for rankings and he has a big fight coming up huge fight so that against really, Gamera. i'm really excited for that one too that would really uh make this more or less valuable yeah if that fight turns <laughs> so out never but, uh, yeah. so we'll see but no i think he's a good prospect in the same division and so. uh i like that he does a tarantula for his oh autos. yeah like it's it's a disaster but it's it, i think see it, it. yeah it's pretty cool <clears throat> that's, a good, that's a good pickup. Uh, that one was a twenty-five dollar pickup, and, and that is out of a uh, optic uh, retail product. So that's yeah, the if, pinks you, are little... if you hit that, that's pretty amazing because retail is garbage. Yeah, so. you're getting <laughs> auto and a prism. Yeah, that's pretty and, impressive. And that was the price of a retail box that he got that card from. So the the moral of the story is don't buy retail. Yeah, we always <laughs> talk about that. Uh, next one up is Umar. Nurma Gemendov. I'm on Burgundy. <laughs> Nurma. <laughs> Nurma. All right. Next up is Umar Nurma Gomedov. Did yeah, dude, that's close. Did I do it? I'm good. really bad at pronouncing. It's and that's crazy. But he's should be a popular name to begin with, right? Oh yeah, big time. Um, obviously, he's a huge prospect. Or I don't even know if he'd be considered a prospect now because he's yeah he's rising kind of, up so much. He's right on that like. Cusp yeah. where he's probably a contender at this point, but kind of still still at the bottom of the division because they won't give him fights. But. That's true. Uh, we all, I think we both agree he's going to rise up and maybe be the champ. We'll see. But this is a Red Disco H2, mm -hmm. and it's had a 99. This was my big dollar one. I want to say I spent 55 on it. Yep, 55. And this is the one where I maybe cheat a little because with shipping and taxes, it probably broke me over a hundred a little bit. Objection, Your Honor, on grounds that this is redone. So, what the hell, judges? Yeah, judges. I guess they allow it. He did the whole it. Instagram thing, I so, guess, you know. <laughs> I guess they'll allow it, whatever. Um, <clears throat> those are my three. I went heavier on just three cards. Uh, tried to have one heavy hitter and two. Got an auto. Yep. Run all, it down the line after that. All part. new. All new. So... so that helps. Yeah. Um, but there's two question marks. Jalen could completely lose, fizzle out, and Grant's a, kind of a complete unknown-ish right now. But I'm happy with Umar. I think it was a good, definitely um, three solid cards, three solid rookies. If you're going to get stuff, you want rookies, you want autos. So yeah. I think it was a good buy. I'm happy with it. But, you know, the question is, are you happy with it? Are you happy with huh? it? Are you are you happy with it? Are you happy with it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so this was this was a really fun challenge. It was harder than we thought, both of us. Yeah, way harder. Because I was targeting specific cards that I just literally couldn't ever find, even if they were like $20 cards. And, and you, the one you were talking about was like a 2017, right? So yep. it's not even like... Like I was kind yeah. of really wanting to try some like vintage, you know, mm -hmm. round one, round two type, type stuff. Couldn't really find the cards that I was wanting. Um, and I don't think it was a price issue. I think it no. was an inventory issue. There's just not that much of the older tops, which if you're collecting, that's kind of what you want. So guys, keep, keep on the lookout for the older top stuff. Yeah, they're, they're out there. They just pop up. But man, I think the availability is just... You're getting flooded right now with the new stuff. Yep. That's hence me buying two optics that just came out months ago. Yeah, so. exactly. It's just so, the the liquidity of the newer stuff is so easy for, from a buyer standpoint. Now that's probably not as good in the long run, 
But for this challenge, we only had, what, two months, I think? Yeah, we didn't go. I mean, I guess we could go forever, but we yeah. wanted to whip something out. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably do this again because it was kind of a fun um, exercise to do. Um, but shout out to uh, Jack Mehoff and uh, Billy Babcock. Oh, man, I love me some Billy. <laughs> and uh, comment below if you like those guys. Yeah, uh, they could come back. They, they could die. Who knows? They might happening. get fired after this. <laughs> yeah, it was a rough... Billy looked Working rough. with Billy looks <laughs> tough, dude. He's a he's a, he a diva. He is a mess. He's a diva, but he's a talented guy. So that's <laughs> you why can't he, take it away from him. That's why he got the job. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe for future videos just like this. I don't know what's coming up next. We'll do another video is coming out next week. Yeah. You know the deal. Got something exciting in the works. Exciting in the works. We're trying to do videos every week. So subscribe for future videos just like this. I love you. Miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.